Hello chess friends and welcome to your Zot of Chess channel and welcome to an incredible game that I found on the official computer chess rating list website, the popular CCRL. We have here Halogen versus Stoffer 16 in the beautiful Knight of Sicilian in which we'll see the fish playing again uh, with the black pieces, this amazing sharp tactical opening. And probably many of us uh, once in, in our lives have played of course the Knight of Sicilian but maybe stopped because uh, we lost some games, we didn't know uh, particular sidelines, particular variations, so we didn't didn't know where to attack, we didn't know where to make progress, so we didn't know how to defend, which is also, I think, very important when you play the Knight of Sicilian. But I think if you watch not this game played by Stockfish, you could maybe get back to the Knight of Sicilian because it's really, in my opinion, one of the best approaches uh, against e4. If you're maybe searching for an opening, the Knight of Sicilian, as I said, one of the best openings for sure. So let's see now how the fish is playing the Knight of. We'll see also great theoretical improvements here, theoretical novelty. So, as I said, this could be really your cornerstone in your preparation in e4 battle so let's see now the game with the white pieces the halogen engine open with move e4 stockfish response with c5 the sicilian we have a knight to f3 d6 smaller variation d4 c takes d4 and f knight to d4 knight to f6 uh, we attacking the pawn on e4 so they have to protect it and now after move a6 we have reached the knight of sicilian we ship to e3 which is now the so-called english attack preparation is of course clear f3 g4 a h4 h5 queen to d2 making progress here uh, simply attacking the king side and then also of course securing the king um here on the queen side by white but of course now comes the common knight of sicilian move which is now this aggressive method with the move e5 knight to b3 will leave now of course many times black here with this two weaknesses in the position backward pawn on d6 but also a weak square on d5 that's the only issue i think in the knight of sicilian otherwise i think you have good activities especially Especially because with the light school bishop you can make progress uh, with the move b5 uh, queen side attack is here an optimal choice of course for black so we have bishop to e6 controlling at least for a while this uh, square d5 when the knight comes we'll simply take it out not allowing here uh, white to cement the position around this uh, beautiful square so f3 as promised with the preparation to play the move g4 bishop to e7 queen to d2 king side casting and now queen side casting we have a knight from b to d7 g4 and now b5 and this is now this opposite side attack game white attacks the uh, king side black is attacking the queen side this position has been played many many times it's a common position i think it's really uh, the most often position played in the knight of sicilian and now from this point on let's see now how the fish is playing this amazing middle game so first of all after move g5 knight to h5 uh, this is an amazing attack by white against the knight but uh, this move is also activating the knight further now the knight will come eventually on this weak square in white position which is of course the weak f4 square so we have now knight to d5 occupying the spaces in the center of the board now when the knight is not controlling the d5 square white is using this moment and simply occupies the main weakness now in our position but actually it doesn't matter it's not such a dangerous attack i think here by white because of a bishop to d5 the problem I think for white here is that you cannot take with the queen. You would love to take with the queen and as I said, cement the position around the square d5 where we have this weakness, but we have also, as I said, this backward spawn um, d6 weakness. White would love to make progress in this way, but it's not possible because you're leaving also this pawn unprotected after bishop to g5, queen to g5, you step back, okay, we occupy now the weakness in white's position on the square f4 and now after queen to d6, okay, why took also our weak pawn but i think in this position the knight on f4 let's compare at least these two minor pieces the knight on f4 would be much much better than the bishop on on f1 because the knight can always all, only be kicked away by this knight somehow but now in the continuation maybe we will play rook to d8 uh, in the next move we'll kick away the queen and i think uh, this knight could also find a good way maybe here knight to f6 knight to h5 but i think uh, we will cement our position simply around the square f4 so it's basically unprotectable this weakness and still you see uh, black uh pardon me white is continuing uh, here with this weak pawn on f3 and the bishop is a little bit blocked out where are you going to with with uh, with this bishop these two squares are taking this square is also taking so in my opinion this is simply a bad bishop strategy that black black would apply so i think we have solved now the issues after bishop to d5 that you have to take now here with move e takes d5 now comes uh f6 very very important move 
to stop further attacks here on the king side because if you don't play that then of course f4 could happen uh, h4 simply making progress further so that's why after f6 e ta g takes f6 we have bishop to f6 and stockfish produced at least unbalanced game so far uh first of all we should notice that now now the bishop on f6 is also targeting the weak score in b2 but this move f6 that stockfish plays also gives white opportunities to attack maybe here the open file the open g file so now comes knight to a5 uh, occupying of course the weak c6 square we have queen to e8 bishop to uh, h3 and now a very interesting choice here by the fish knight to f4 simply getting use of this uh, uh, weak square in white position that we have talked about not many times so far in this game what should you do here the halogen engine took bishop takes f4 we have e takes f4 and now comes a critical moment of the game you can of course play something like bishop takes uh, d7 this makes sense because you're getting rid of this knight that could eventually uh, jump on e5 this wasn't played in the game but i was very curious what would happen if for instance black uh, get challenged in this way if white simply gets rid of this bad bishop on uh, this long diagonal so now after move bishop to d7 queen to d7 knight to c6 will be obvious obviously played by uh, white but i suddenly don't like any more white position because okay the knight is fixed on c6 but what is actually this knight attacking this knight is attacking nothing here so it's really well placed knight but it's doesn't have support maybe if this knight will be somewhere fixed on f5 if you could just imagine maybe this powerful knight fixed i mean fixed that it cannot be attacked maybe by a pawn or maybe by another p minor piece then it would be of course an optimal position you have a knight on f5 you can go open the g file then it's uh, perfectly fine but now in this scenario look at this we simply play rook to e8 okay white will compete we get the queen very active this is weak this is weak okay maybe uh here uh, white will also take out this pawn but now we create breathing spaces and i think this is perfectly fine look at this effort something like queen to f f3 also bishop to g5 is a possibility deflect the king from the defense of the rook so this is just one scenario that i'm showing you of course white doesn't have to play the game like this but i wanted to show you that in this open tactical battle actually the bishop would be uh suddenly a good piece uh, uh, in this game so that's why f of e takes f4 here the halogen engine played king to b1 simply improved the position of the king because obviously you cannot also take out the pawn on f4 because you get this tactic bishop takes b2 comes of course with this discovered attack against the queen you have to take out now the bishop but uh, the game is over uh, here for white so as i said after e takes f4 king to b1 first the improvement of the king uh here by white so knight to e5 but you see you had maybe your chance to take out now the knight on d7 now the knight is simply cemented it's be it becomes now if you're familiar maybe with benoni structures if you are maybe playing sometimes the benoni then you know when the knight gets simply fixed on this beautiful e5 square supported by the d6 pawn this is really this benoni knight uh, this is now really the best minor piece on the board and now halogen simply accepted the challenge queen to f4 here halogen is saying okay now you don't have the tactics uh with the move bishop to b2 but here i think halogen got a little bit tricked by the fish we have bishop to uh, d8 again the discovered attack you have to step back with the queen we play now bishop to uh bishop to a5 queen to a5 and f rook to f3 as i said this is now this powerful benoni knocked hi how uh, how are you going to kick away now this knight from e5 you don't have any minor piece that could compete against this powerful piece uh in my opinion in this knight versus bishop battle here i would say the knight is much much better so although it's an open game and you see ha you have seen previously in this other comparison when white had maybe the knight on c6 and bishop uh, and black had the bishop on f6 still i think that again black's bishop was better because it targeted of course here the weak pawn on b2 so as i said it seems so that every trade potential trade of pieces was simply favorable here for stockfish 16 so now comes bishop to e6 okay you have one check we step back b3 and now stockfish gets use of the only open file of course on the uh, f file now you can compete of course with your rooks here on f1 so we have queen to b6 rook to f4 we have uh, h4 a5 uh, here uh, comp uh, controlling of course uh, this attack if you play even uh, here queen to b5 
A4 is going to happen. This is really, really devastating. In some lines, even knight to c4 is possible. After b takes c4, rook to b8, for instance, is one possible dirty tactic here. Always, always has to be considered. For instance, knight to c4 and then knight to a3. Uh, a4 also opens the uh, opens the a file. I think if we manage to build maybe a rook battery on the a file again, the game is over here for white. So. You don't have time, I think, in this open battles to take out some pawns. You will simply get destroyed by the activity. So that's why h5 here by halogen. We have uh, h6, rook to d4, rook to f1, rook to d1. After rook to f4, now bishop to h3. We have a4. Again, the same idea. Again, queen to b5 is not bringing you anything. This position will simply to get too open in front of white's king. So rook from h to f1, we have a takes b3, c takes b3, and now queen to f7, preparing also, of course, to build now uh, maybe a triple battery here on the f-file. And now here again, the halogen engine got a little bit tricked. Played simply queen to d6, fall, fell for this trap a little bit tactics we have here because stockfish uh, okay um, now you have taken this important pawn but now uh here we have this dirty tactic queen to h5 uh, if you take of course the rook on f4 then you get queen takes d1 so this uh, rooks on the fir uh, first rank on the back rank are simply overloaded and again we should consider something that in a potential endgame black is at least created two connected passers which is also a very important strategic element in potential fully end game. So I'm not saying this should be really valid as a fully end game because still there are so many tactics that are possible. But we should also consider that this two connected passwords could maybe uh, in the later stage of the game also win the game here for black. So rook to e1. Now again rook to e4 with the same tactic if you play rook to e4 again uh here the rook on d1 is saying queen to c7 rook takes e1 rook takes e1 knight to f3 counter-attack here by halogen attacking also the rook rook to f8 again a counter-attack but now the rook hides here on this uh, good square on g8 you have to now step back now comes the check uh, king to b2 and now knight to e4 putting more pressure against the queen queen comes here and now the queen comes active into the game here on e2 this is now in my opinion game over there's simply too much pressure uh, the rook is coming the knight is coming uh, the king is simply too naked the uh, rook and the bishop um, are simply too far away from the action so it's game over here for white so we have queen uh, king to a1 rook to a8 immediately a checkmate threat you have to play now a4 b takes a4 and now the queen is coming into the game we have here uh, rook to f8 uh, queen to c4 and after queen to e3 b takes a4 uh, rook to b8 in this position the halogen engine actually resigned so what to do uh, you can of course compete but look at this rook to b1 king to b1 for instance, one also possible uh, line is, of course, here uh, the royal fork by the knight. So, as I said, this is simply too, too much pressure here uh, when the rook is coming into the game. There's simply no good defense against this brutal, brutal attack by the fish. So, okay, I hope that you enjoy this game. I think this is really instructive what Stockfish did. Beautiful knight of line with the black pieces. Uh, we have seen now many great games by the fish in which Stockfish won now with the black pieces. I hope that you enjoy this mini series because i think many of us want to see more games with the black pieces because probably we have more problems when we play with black so i think uh, you see this is really perfect what the fish is doing amazing amazing chess opening theory is really one of the sharpest sicilian in the amazing knight of sicilian so okay uh, if you want to see more epic and brutal tactical games like this check out our comments chat games play by computer series and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel See you soon with some more videos and what do we say? Chess is the best of course.